CataractCoach.com, setting your FACO speed limit. And why do I recommend a speed limit of 25 for novice surgeons? So here's the setup on your machine, and you look here, we're in sculpt mode. And look at the parameters. There's the FACO power longitudinal and torsional. That's the infusion, 50 millimeters of mercury, equivalent to bottle height. That's the vacuum, and that's the flow rate. So 22 cc's are flowing per minute into the eye. And so that's the units. Remember, units for aspiration flow is a speed, cc's per minute. Important to remember that. Now there's a linear control, or we can have it ramped up. So we can have it constantly at 22 cc's a minute, or you can ramp it up with the foot pedal. And you can ramp it up even more. So this is very helpful as well. So it starts off slower, and then it can go faster. So the aspiration flow rate is the speed. Let's go to chop mode here. Chop mode, now we see we have 40 cc's a minute. That's pretty fast. That's the way I like it. But things will happen quicker. Now there's a correspondingly higher vacuum rate and higher inflow. Because remember the inflow and outflow have to be balanced. 40 cc's a minute, that should be dropped down if you're just starting off. Why? Well, let's do some math here. If the volume of the anterior chamber is a quarter of a cc, then 40 cc's per minute means you're turning over that anterior chamber 160 times every minute, or almost three times every second. That's fast. If you drop to 25 cc's a minute of flow, and this is what I recommend as a maximum speed for newer residents who are starting off, we're gonna have a lot less turnover in the anterior chamber. And that's an important thing. So looking here, what should we change on the other modes? Let's look at cortex mode. In cortex also, let's drop that down to our lower flow. There we go, 25 cc's a minute. That sounds more reasonable. And then look at the remainder of this of case as well. At the end of the case, we're gonna remove viscoelastic from the eye. And 60 cc's a minute, again, that's very fast. That's one cc per second, which is turning over the anterior chamber four times a second. So when you're a new resident starting off, this will slow down the surgery. Your goal as a new resident, even as an advanced doctor, is not speed. And so we want to slow things down so you can have more control. You only want to go as fast as you'll have control. So these are more appropriate settings for a resident who's starting off. So remember what I say. If you're starting off as a resident, the speed limit is 25 cc's a minute. And we should drop that down and keep that in mind. Here's a case of mine. This is not a resident operating, it's me. I just want to show you about the fluidic. So there's the nucleus split in half. The FACO probe is used to bring half a nucleus up. And then we just use the chopper and the FACO probe to emulsify this. Now the flow is only happening when the FACO tip is unoccluded, remember that. If it's occluded with lens material, you're not gonna have that much fluid flowing. As I take the pieces down, look behind the nuclear pieces into the capsular bag and look at the cortex material. And we wanna see, is it stable or is there any bounce to the anterior chamber fluctuations? And it's pretty stable, but look how fast things happen. When the tip's not occluded anymore, things move fast. And so you'd be very careful here. Having the balanced fluidics where the inflow is matched by the outflow, that sufficient inflow pressure allows us to keep the eye inflated and keeps the posterior capsule away. Now for the cortex removal, again, we're using a relatively high flow rate. This is me operating, not a novice resident. So we'll do it pretty quickly. And you can see after the pieces come down, the capsule is very stable, but the little bit of cortex there flutters and moves a lot because of the fluidic flow being so high. And then we can clean this up, and this case is just about finished. So keep this in mind when you're operating. The speed limit is the flow rate. The flow is the speed at which surgery is done. It's not the vacuum. The vacuum ends up being the holding power for like chop mode, or the power you use to aspirate away any of the material that's there but it's not the speed. The speed is cc's per minute, and that is aspiration flow rate. And once you have that achieved and have a good balance, you'll be able to operate very comfortably. 
25 cc's a minute is good for a novice surgeon, and then you can bump it up to 40 or 50 as you get more advanced.